I realized I literally manifested my life. Like I literally, before I used to be like, I want to move away from Pennsylvania. I don't want to be here no more. It's trauma town. I hate Pennsylvania. I don't want to be here no more. I hate these people. Like it just was bad things coming after, after, after when I lived here. Finally, I moved. I literally manifested my life without even knowing. Like, Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is me, Na. And I have not done a sibling video in so long. So like, I'm really excited about this video. And you know, we, we have a lot of things to get into. We have a lot of things to talk about. So we need to just get into it, okay? I'm giving y'all a teacher because today we are talking about, you know, a bunch of little topics. So, you know, the new year is coming up, 2023. 2023 is my year. I'm claiming it, I don't care. Like 2023 is my year to blow up on YouTube. I graduate, I turn 21. Like it's just gonna be an overall good year. So we're gonna be talking about setting goals and new year's resolutions. So my new year's resolution, I when I think of resolutions, I think more so of not really like big, big goals, but just like healthy habits. So that's what we're gonna be talking about healthy habits. Like cooking at home more like eating out less like i want to cook more i want to bake more because when i bake like i really be happy like you know what i mean like i feel like it's kind of a stress reliever and i love like sweet stuff so like baking is just kind of like um a good hobby to have i don't know so I do something active every day like they don't have a puppy so like i walk her every day like i don't think i go a day without walking her and i walk her like probably more than one time one time a day so those that's my way of being more active you know touching grass seeing real sun you know things like that instead of just being cooped up in your room all day or you know being cooped up in the house you need to go out and get some fresh air that is a very good resolution to start doing getting out more um <clears throat> journal something that i really want to do is go back to writing like you know if you don't know uh, me i write poems and stuff like i write free I guess you can call it like free write um, poems because I don't really like follow the poem like definition or whatever or whatever because I don't really rhyme my words. I kind of just free write. So that's something I want to definitely continue to do more and more and just journal like just basically having a journal where I talk about things like on my day or anything that I'm feeling at the moment. That's something that I want to do more is journal. Another thing is like less self-doubt and self-hate comments so, like that's very hard honestly because <clears throat> i have a very 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 bad habit of saying that i'm going to kms it's just like i'm not really going to do it but you know just kind of like a saying that like, i need to really stop saying or like i may like look you know i may like think oh i'm ugly like oh i don't like this this about myself or whatever like i need to stop doing that <clears throat> It's not good for my mental health to be talking down on myself. Like, honestly, I really get very, like, discouraged about YouTube sometimes. And I feel like I'm not really good enough to be doing YouTube. Like, I feel like my videos are not entertaining. I feel like I'm really not, like, you know, I don't know. Like, I be having doubts about myself. But then, like, somebody will literally DM me, like, I love your videos. You helped me so much. Cause just because I'm not seeing the likes and comments coming in and like that many views, I still have people that support me and things like that. So that's why I have to remind myself, give myself positive information, talk to myself like, you know, in the mirror, like you look good, like you're pretty, you're beautiful, your body is perfect. And you don't need to be talking down to yourself. That's not a good thing. So that habit is going out the window. I'm suffering from the same thing, like always like, you know, I had talking down to myself and stuff like that. Why do you think these things about yourself? Get down to the root of the issues. I know why I think these, this way about myself. And that's why I combat my negative thoughts. If you're anything like me and you like were bullied at a young age, I feel like that, that travels to your adulthood and basically ruins the way that you think about yourself, basically. So don't be talking down to yourself. Make sure you say positive affirmations. Look in the mirror. Even if you don't even feel that way. Maybe you feel like you're, you feel ugly. That's why they say be delusional. Delusional will get you places, okay? That's another thing. I was watching TikTok and she was like, write down all of your delusions. 
you know what I did at four o'clock in the morning? I wrote down all of my illusions. I wanna stay on track because next I'm gonna be talking about manifestation and things like that. So let me just get through my resolutions and stuff and like really right after when I get to manifestation and what I did. Okay, so one thing I definitely wanna start doing is like when I wake up, I don't wanna get on my phone for like at least an hour. When I wake up, I don't wanna get on no social media. I don't wanna check no messages. I don't wanna do nothing. I should just get up, pray. When I pray, I pray for happiness, peace, you know, things like that. Or I just thank God for, you know, waking me up every day. Thank God for my family, my friends, like people, you know, that have been supporting me. I thank God for food, bed, like little like things that are big but may seem little praying and stuff like that is definitely a big habit that i want to continue um i want to try to like complain less like i feel like me i'm really like top tier complainer like as to come like i really will find anything and i kind of feel like it's more so of a conversation starter like it don't come out of nowhere like i'll complain about something like so random like oh my back hurt like oh my like you may think okay that's middle school you know that's not even that serious but like the way i complain is kind of like really bad so like i want to make it a habit where i'm not complaining anymore and if i do have an issue with something like i'm not really like whining about it you know what i mean like, like say i'm on the facetime we're not saying nothing or whatever i just be like my back hurt like just like stuff like that and it's just like all right, like, you don't need to complain to start a conversation, you know what I'm saying? Like, not saying it's annoying, because, you know, me and my friends, we do or whatever. But just, like, complain about, like, little stuff that you don't even need to complain about. Like, it's it's not even that serious. Um, I went to limit pronunciation. I can never pronounce this word, but basically, I went to limit, like, me putting off things. You know, y'all you know the word. Y'all know it. I might want to try to pronounce it. But um, I do have a habit. Like, I even put off this video. I put on so many videos, I have so many ideas in the tuck, but because of my insecurities and like my lack of confidence sometimes in uh, me putting things off, I'm not really able to, you know, put those those things into fruition or whatever. But <clears throat> definitely I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop sleeping with makeup on. I don't really see like a drastic change in my skin, but I do wanna be more, you know, clean. You know, I wanna be more clean next year. And I'm gonna stop like going to sleep with my makeup on. Like I need to wash my face. I do need to start showering before I go to sleep. Cause it do make me feel good. Like before I go to sleep, I you know, take a shower, take a bath. Like, you know, you wanna feel clean before you go to sleep and stuff like that. So that's why I wanna do more. So that was my goal, my little resolutions or whatever. You know, of course I have the big goals like graduating, which I'm already in graduate. I'm gradu I'm a graduate, okay? I have my degree already. <clears throat> like I'm, I'm graduating that's already set in stone but like you know get my driver's license getting a car you know things like that getting a job an internship things like that those are my bigger goals and yeah oh yeah so another, another thing as far as like my hair because i just did, did the big chop i want to start taking care of my hair more i'm going to start actually getting products for my hair you know having a very very strict regimen and never letting up on that regimen my mom is telling me that I should never dye my hair again. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sticking to that. That's not a revolution for me. But if I do dye my hair, I don't want to go too crazy and keep dyeing it. Like, cause I would dye my hair like every month, every other month. I don't want to go dying crazy. And if I do dye my hair, I need to take care of it. I need to add extra steps to take care of my hair more and more so it can grow. And yeah, that was it for my resolutions. Now on to manifestation to create something or turn something from an idea into a reality. And one of the new things that I'm starting to do is scripting manifestation. Technique used to manifest goals by writing about a time after you successfully reach your goal. Say you want a car, like, oh, I'm so thankful for my car. Thank you, my car ride so good. I got a 2010. Like, you want to get real detailed into it. So when I wrote mine about a car, I said, I want my cars to be very up to date. Like, I want a touchpad radio. Like, I want it to run smooth. I want to, like, see my my rear my rear in the little little red touch pad little thing like i want like i don't really care about the color but i want it to be in the 2010s like get real good real detail with it like get real detail i wrote a few things like about the apartment that i want and i basically said i have a luxury i have a luxurious apartment and i put the state that i would want my apartment to be in my apartment has two bedrooms and one bathroom. My bedroom has two door closets. My bedroom is very similar to 
my bedroom currently. And then after I like wrote all these things, I basically put at the end, I put no harm to none, all positive, just affirmations, like effort, positive affirmations and like just things that are going to keep you going because in this process, you're going to feel like, oh, is it even going to work? Like just, that's why affirmations are so important. That's why I make sure in my vision boards, which I'm going to be talking about right now, perfect segue. Um, I have a few. I actually have a few vision boards. I have a few. I actually have vision boards on Pinterest. Tutorial for you guys on how to make a vision board on Pinterest. So you want to go on Pinterest. You want to click the plus sign and then you should see board. And you want to click board and you just make it any name that you want. But once you put vision to it, you will see all these recommendations. You can choose the recommendations. Look at me. I was adding like affirmations and stuff. Or just literally like tip for vision boards. Anything that you find like aesthetically pleasing. Anything that aligns with what you want in life. Anything that you see that you're like, oh, I want to. I like this. Like, I think this is nice. And like, I want to do this. I want to like anything that you want to do in life. It could be activities, whatever. So look. So yeah, after I did that, like I will see a bunch of recommendations. Like a bunch of positive things on my feed and i just added like literally that's what i do i literally just like flowers like i want flowers i want somebody to give me flowers so i'm gonna add that i'm gonna buy myself flowers one day like oh i'm a youtuber so let me add like any like editing and stuff like that to my vision board to keep me motivated like things like that that's what i think of a vision board i think of just finding things that you like what you love like you know so yeah that's basically what i did that's how i made my vision board on pinterest back to the video one is my lock screen they're full of affirmations like things that are going to remind me like you're on your phone every day you look at your screen every day so of course i'm going to have my lock screen in my background as affirmations you know to help me get through the years help me get through because this is a process and everything's not going to come Realistically, it's not gonna come overnight and you also you actually have to put work into it. Like as much as okay, you, you can say you want these things, but you're gonna have to put work into it. Same way where prayer, same thing, whatever you believe in, you're gonna have to put work into it. And as long as you believe, as long as you are a good person, as long as you are pouring into yourself and pouring into others, you will get whatever you deserve. That's all we say. I'm deserving of, I'm worthy of everything good. You have to convince, you have to literally convince yourself. Cause if you feel like, oh, I don't even deserve this, or this is too crazy. Like you think of things like that, it's not, it's not gonna come. I used to not believe in manifestation. Like I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep the whole beam, which I'm gonna actually be very honest with you. I did not used to believe in manifestation. That was one of the things that I really didn't care for. Like I'm not doing no three, three method. I really wasn't a big fan of uh, angel numbers for a while. Like, things like that, I kind of strayed away from. Because I'm like, I don't really believe in it. Like, you know what I mean? But now, I think that this year, like I said, this year coming up is my year. And I really do, do believe in manifestation. And, like, I've seen it work for too many people for me not to believe in manifestation. Like, I'm not going to lie. People literally, inf people have influenced me to believe it. So, now I'm doing my research. I'm doing, I'm you know, doing new things and stuff like that. I'm trying to figure it out. So, I do want to incorporate that into my new year. Acting like things are already there. Like, that's a delusion. I could be delusional. I don't even let like <laughs> Being delusional is very easy for me. I mean, come on. I can live like I have the life that I want. I can I can create the life that I want. I can do whatever I want. Like, this is my world. Like, I can literally do whatever I want. Like, I can have whatever I want. I'm deserving of everything good. And once you believe that, uh, you're going to see. It's going to start coming in. Once you start pouring into yourself, focusing on yourself, doing everything that you need to do for yourself, loving yourself, everything positive you know you are what you attract you you're gonna get bad karma good karma bad karma new year like only give my energy into things that give their energy into me like everything has to reciprocate like no one-sided friendship no one-sided relationship no one-sided nothing okay we are way past those things we do not have to do old things we do not have to be toxic we do not have to 
keep people in our lives because we don't want to be alone. We don't have to do it anymore, okay? We are literally going to be stepping into our power. And I know I'm stepping into my power. So what you doing? Because if you subscribe to me, if you watch me and you're not stepping into your power, I mean, what's going on? Like this type of prayer, prayer is real. God will come through every time. That's what y'all don't understand. God will come through every time. See, I just told y'all, I, I didn't believe in manifestation. I realized I literally manifested my life. Like I literally, before I used to be like, I want to move away from Pennsylvania. I don't want to be here no more. It's trauma town. I hate Pennsylvania. I don't want to be here no more. I hate these people. Like it just was bad things coming after, after, after when I lived here. Finally, I moved. I said, oh, when I'm younger, I want to do YouTube. When I grew up, I used to do fake YouTube videos even before I started YouTube. Now I do YouTube, now I create, now I do this and that. So I literally manifested my life without even knowing. Like I literally wanted to be here. I wanted to be in this headspace and now I'm here because I said I was gonna do it. And now I'm doing it. I put in the work. I put in the work and I see process and I see the growth and things like that. And I'm just keep working because it's what I wanna do. So with all that being said, Good luck to everybody on the new year, okay? I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. Y'all need to talk to me. That's why I'll be telling y'all. I need to engage with me. Y'all need to comment. I mean, damn me. I have TikTok. I have Instagram. I have Twitter. I have every, every social media. That, like, I need to, I need updates. I need to know what y'all doing for the year. I need to know y'all goals, y'all resolutions. I need to know everything. And this video is a little long, but it's well needed because I haven't sit down and talked to y'all and yell at y'all in a minute, so... Yeah.